This is the Piper Navajo Chieftain, one of the strongest contenders for pilots looking for a twin-engine aircraft that provides a spacious cabin and easy handling. The Navajo is popular for charter flying, as well as private ownership for those who look for an aircraft that provides a sense of luxury. In 1962, Piper decided to increase its consumer reach and designed a six to eight seat aircraft named the Inca. With some adjustments, the name was changed to the Piper Navajo, and it debuted in 1966 in response to Cessna's 401 and 411 to compete in the twin engine world. Gaining some experience with twin engine aircraft, the Navajo opened the door to Piper, creating a larger, more powerful aircraft. The Chieftain, responding to this market demand, Piper introduced the Navajo Chieftain in 1973 as a stretched variant of the original Navajo. The Chieftain featured a fuselage extended by two feet or 60 centimeters, increasing the internal cabin space and allowing for up to two additional passengers. And the engines were upgraded to the Lycoming TIO 540 J2BD, which were turbocharged and produced 350 horsepower each, significantly more than the engines used in the standard Navajo. While greatly loved by its owners, the Navajo is admittedly expensive to operate. With two engines, there is twice the amount of expenses. However, it is cost-effective, and its spacious cabin and excellent performance make it the first choice for passengers looking to travel in comfort, resulting in the Navajo generating a profit for many charter companies. Stay with us till the end of the video, because here is everything you need to know about the Piper Navajo Chieftain. Stepping inside, entry is eased with the air stair door, and in the main cabin, all passengers are treated equally because of the uniform fuselage section and similar seats. Whether the form of the Navajo followed function or vice versa, it is a successful blend of good looks, good flying characteristics, and utility. It can please both the pilot and the passengers, particularly in a corporate configuration. In the high-density commuter configuration, things get a bit cramped and weight and balance calculations become more critical. The dimensions of the cabin are quite accommodating, typically measuring about 4 feet 3 inches or 1.30 meters in height and 4 feet 2 inches or 1.27 meters in width. The length spans about 10 feet 10 inches or 3.30 meters, providing a total volume of 120 cubic feet or 3.4 cubic meters that comfortably supports not only passenger seating but also cargo storage. When it comes to passengers, many have praised how comfortable and spacious the Navajo is. Seats are most often arranged to seat four, but you can seat up to seven. The seats are usually arranged in a club seating configuration. Each seat is individually adjustable, and the aisle space is sufficient for an adult to move about with relative ease. The seating itself is designed for comfort, upholstered typically in fabric that stands the test of time and usage though many operators have upgraded to more modern materials and designs in refurbished models. The large windows, a hallmark of Piper's design philosophy, allow for ample natural light and impressive views during flight. The aircraft typically includes an onboard refreshment center, which, although basic, serves the needs of passengers for short to medium duration flights. There is also plenty of baggage space distributed between the nose, nacelle wing lockers, and the rear fuselage baggage area providing a maximum allowance of 700 pounds or 320 kilograms. The nacelle wing lockers are very long and as such are ideal for skis, guns, fishing poles, and similar items. Climate control is generally robust with factory installed heating and optional air conditioning systems. And finally, the cabin noise level, while noticeable, is typical for aircraft of this vintage and engine type. Many owners and operators opt to install soundproofing modifications which significantly improve comfort levels during flight. Now let's step into the cockpit. The cockpit is configured to accommodate two pilots, and except for the tallest of pilots, the cockpit is comfortable. The Chieftain is the best of the breed in this respect because it affords more leg room than comparably equipped and outfitted short Navajos. Visibility is quite good as conventional twins go. Even in the earliest versions, the cockpit layout is good. The primary flight controls are mechanically linked providing direct, responsive feedback, and the control yokes are centrally located for both the pilot and co-pilot, flanked by traditional rudder pedals. The original instrumentation was predominantly analog, featuring a standard six-pack arrangement for primary flight displays, airspeed indicator, artificial horizon, altimeter, turn coordinator, heading indicator, and vertical speed indicator. 
Additionally, engine monitoring gauges are prominently displayed, allowing for easy monitoring of critical parameters, such as engine temperature, oil pressure, and fuel levels. In terms of avionics, the Navajo Chieftain was initially equipped with what was then considered state-of-the-art technology, but now often receives significant upgrades to meet modern standards. Common upgrades include the installation of GPS navigation systems, multifunction displays, and modern communication radios. A popular choice among Chieftain owners is the Garmin G600 or G500 flight display system, which integrates primary flight information, navigation data, terrain mapping, traffic, and weather into a single display. The Bendix FCS 810 autopilot system originally available in the Chieftain was relatively basic, typically featuring capabilities such as altitude hold and nav tracking. However, these systems can be upgraded to autopilot solutions like the Garmin GFC 600, which offers features like vertical navigation, automatic leveling, and approach sequencing. Additionally, modern Navajos often feature advanced GPS navigation systems, such as the Garmin GTN650 or 750, which offer high-resolution touchscreens and integrate various functions like communication radios, map-based navigation, and terrain avoidance systems. Another notable feature in modernized Chieftain cockpits is the addition of ADS-B equipment, which is now a requirement in many airspace sectors. Engine monitoring has also seen enhancements. Many aircraft now incorporate digital engine monitoring systems like the JPI EDM 700 or 800, which provide real-time engine performance data. The original Bendix RDR-150 monochrome radar is seldom used, but works well when needed. It could be upgraded to color by replacing the indicator unit with an Avidyne EX500 or EX600 MFD. However, many pilots prefer to use NEXRAD radar provided by a portable Stratus ADS-B receiver and avoid convective areas by a wide margin, rather than trying to make tactical decisions based on the onboard radar with the limitations of its small antenna. And finally, despite its age, the electrical system in the Chieftain is robust and designed to handle additional avionics without significant modifications. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Piper Navajo Chieftain is powered by two 350 horsepower TIO540 Lycomings, TIO540J 2BD on the left, and LTIO540J 2BD on the right. The TBO is 1,800 hours, and they are air-cooled, six-cylinder turbocharged power plants that are well regarded for their durability and power output. The outboard fuel cells have a capacity of 40 gallons each, and the inboard cells have a capacity of 56 gallons each, providing a total fuel capacity of 192 gallons or 727 liters. The counter-rotating engines and props means there is no critical engine. The J2BD variant of the engine uses a dual Bendix mag that has two mags in a single housing with a single drive shaft. The J2B variant of the engine uses a more traditional pair of individual mags and can be installed via STC from Micro Aerodynamics or Mike Jones Aircraft. The tricky part in performance is payload with full fuel. A corporate configured Navajo can be carrying between 500 and 600 pounds or 225 and 270 kilograms of amenities, particularly if known icing and air conditioning options are included. A bare bones airline chieftain on the other hand might have less than 250 pounds or 115 kilograms added to the basic empty weight. So payload with full fuel can range from a low of less than 800 pounds or 360 kilograms in a well-equipped Navajo to more than 1,400 pounds or 635 kilograms in a Chieftain. The aircraft requires 1,600 feet or 490 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day and the engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 1,120 feet and a ceiling of 27,200 feet. Red line on manifold pressure is 49 inches, but the automatic density controllers are adjusted to provide 44 inches under standard temperature and pressure conditions. At full power during takeoff, fuel flow gushes to above 70 gallons per hour, but can be reduced to 54 GPH at 85% power during climb while keeping EGTs below 1,500 degrees and CHTs around 400 degrees Fahrenheit. At lightweights, you can reduce power further and still have outstanding climb performance. 
During cruise, you normally operate at 2,300 RPM in 30 to 32 inches of manifold pressure, burn between 32 and 36 gallons, or 120 to 135 liters, and see true air speeds of 180 to 195 knots depending on altitude and weight, with a maximum speed of 227 knots. The Piper approved flight manual allows for Lena peak operation and provides a procedure that limits the EGT turbine inlet temperature to 1,650 degrees while leaning. Poorly trained, careless, or out of currency pilots have found the Navajo, like all light and medium piston twins, to be a wolf in sheep's clothing. It will bite the unprepared. But when all motors and systems are functioning, the Navajo series ranks up there with the absolute best mannered pipers ever in terms of handling. And finally, the aircraft has a maximum range of 1,012 nautical miles, which is 1,165 miles or 1,875 kilometers, and a minimum landing distance of 1,500 feet or 460 meters. Now let's talk about the price and cost. The purchase price for a used Piper Navajo Chieftain is $100,000 to $400,000. And while the annual fixed cost is estimated at $50,000 to $75,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $500 to $750. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.